Right, Jonathan Trager for seconds out, joined today by Eddie Hearn, ahead of Saturday's Glory Road card at the uh, Phones Free Arena. How are we doing, Eddie? Good, very good, very excited about Saturday, new yep. season, Yep. Uh, some big fights. Lovely. Can you, not to, not to kick off with a difficult question, mm -hmm. but can you understand Manchester fight fans' frustration, maybe that there weren't the marquee names for Anthony Crawler and Scott Quigg that perhaps they were hoping for? Uh, yeah, I mean the, the box office doesn't really reflect that. You know, we've yeah. done well on the tickets again, and you know I think they're in they're in big fights. And obviously, you look at the depth of the bill, and the, the, particularly the five televised fights. There's some great uh, fights on the card. Yeah. I think Crawler is in the toughest fight of his career. Yeah. Um, so therefore, it has to be quite a good fight. Yeah. Um, and Quig is in a fight against Jamoy, who people have seen before, and will come to fight. Um, yeah. He's expected to win. And expected to win well. Um, of course, fight fans and any fan in any sport are very demanding, so they should be. Yeah. You know, I'm a, I'm a uh, football fan, and I'd like to see Man United play Man City every day of the week. It's not yeah. going to happen, you know. Yeah. Um, and uh, you know, in other fights in America, I want to see fights happen. Sometimes they take time. Yeah. Um, but in the meantime, we have to provide relevant fights, exciting fights, an exciting card. We added Joshua on the bill as well. Um, which is his first fight in Manchester. So yeah. overall, I'm very happy with the card, and I think it'll be a great night. And, and do you think, obviously, because of the, the the great work you've done with British boxing in the last few years, it's thriving and what have you, particularly with the the Frogs mm. Groves rematch last year, has that raised the bar somewhat? Massively. Now people are yeah. expecting possibly Massively. too much at times. It's a very good point because actually, if you look at some of the dross that was being put on two or three years ago, yeah. and even by us, I yeah. wasn't promoting them, but Matrim were putting them on. It was awful. Yeah. I mean, like I was looking at our catalogue the other day, and there was like the main event was a ten-round Commonwealth title between one show that I saw. It might not have even been our show. It was like Ian Napper. No disrespect to Ian Napper in a Commonwealth yeah. title fight against a Ghanaian mm -hmm. in an eight-rounder Chiefs of Paul. Yeah. I mean, you know, now we've got five live fights on Saturday that are all good level quality fights. Yeah. Um, but you are right. We've raised the bar to another level. Yeah. And that affects us and other promoters that people want to wait for the big ones like Frotch Grove. Oh, okay. And yeah. then the other ones, which are maybe seven or eight out of tens. Yeah. No, we'll, we'll give that one a miss, or we'll just watch it at home. Yeah. You know, so, you know, we're, we're the victim of our own success in a way. Yeah. But that's okay because we want to continue raising the bar, and it just makes us want the big fights more and more, and it will put more pressure on other people in the game yeah. to make sure those fights happen. Absolutely, yeah. And then, you know, you've been very vocal and, and you're insistent that the big fights do happen. Probably uh, it's looking like it will shape up in 2015. We'll see potentially Quigg and Frampton, uh, Kel versus Amir. Mm -hmm. Is 2015 shaping up to be potentially the biggest year for British boxing in the last couple of decades? Yeah, I think so. I mean, we had a huge 2014. Mm -hmm. We're still there, aren't we? Yeah. And we've probably got Bellew Cleverly to come as well. Yeah. Um, we're mainly because of Frotch Groves. You know, that was yeah. the epic, probably the turning point in British boxing history, I feel, could be. Yeah. Um, I think that the fighters are starting to understand that these fights have to happen. And fighters generally yeah. will fight anyone. Yeah. You know, the managers and trainers sometimes are differently. Um, it's quite easy for me to be brave as a promoter because I'm not the one getting in there getting chinned. Um, but I just want to make the best fights I can. Um, I'm under pressure from fans. Mm -hmm. I'm very active on social media. I get it all day. We want this, we want this. Yeah. That's fine because I put myself in that position. Yeah. I get it all day from our broadcasters. We want this, we want this. Um, all that you ask is that it is a business and sometimes things make sense and sometimes things don't. Yes. But generally we're all funking for the same thing, which is the big fights. Absolutely. And, and do you understand, you know, Joe's comments today during the press, obviously a little bit frustrated maybe that, that the, the world title fight hasn't been delivered for Anthony. I mean, is it just purely a matter of the politics, as we all know, in boxing, Bo impeding finance, that? Yeah, finance and politics. I mean, you know, as a promoter, um, we agreed the Abril deal um, for, for him to fight Crawler. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, he had some problems with his promoter. And in the meantime, we got gazumped by a guy in Finland that just paid more money. Quite right. simple. You yeah. know, and, and unfortunately, like I said, it is a business mm. and you look at what you can pay to bring a champion over, Yeah. you look at what investment you're prepared to put in, which if we brought Avril over, we would have lost a lot of money on the show, Yeah. happy to do it, to give Crawler his shot, mm -hmm. but then it, they're, you reach a certain limit and it's like, no, I'm not prepared to do that. It's like buying a house. Yeah. You, know, you want to buy a house, but you're only prepared to spend 200, 250 grand, but there's one down the road for 600. I'm sorry, it just, I can't do it. Yeah, it's you not know, financially uh, viable. No, and I'm yeah. sorry if that bores the fans, but at the end of the day, it's my money. Yeah. You know, it's my business. 
Mm -hmm. So I have to do what's right from a business perspective, just like everyone else watching this has to do what's right from a business and a job perspective in what they do. Absolutely. You, know, you have yeah. to make um, right decisions because you go skin like other promoters have done. Yeah. So I'm not prepared to do that. I want to do things right. I want to make sure fighters get paid on time and I want to make sure that the numbers add up. Yeah, absolutely. And and can we ask for a quick update on, on Kel's leg? Obviously, he went out to see him mm. over yeah, in Yeah, he got back on Wednesday, uh, Tuesday night. Mm -hmm. um, he's good. I mean, considering you know the wound is horrific, it's one wound. By mm -hmm. the way, people talk about four stab wounds and slashes, not at all. One across the middle of the thigh. Yeah. Really bad, really bad. And yeah. he's very lucky. But miraculously, the doctors have explained no ligament damage, no tendon damage, Fantastic. just muscular damage, um, which he's going to heal and you know it's been worked on already. Yeah. They think five or six weeks he'll be back training. So Fantastic. as far as the disruption is concerned, probably two to three months tops. So yeah. it's not going to make a huge difference, although it's not ideal yeah. in, in his preparation. And, and so... Uh, so is December the 6th now still no, the off. No, that's off. It's yeah, right. well, he won't bother. It's too, too early without knowing the full extent of the injury. Yeah. Um, I think that, you know, realistically now we're looking at February, early March, um, potentially the same fight. You know, we, I think we virtually made our mind up to go with Jose Cito Lopez. Yeah. Um, I felt that was the right fight. He may fight Khan now because Khan was looking at that fight anyway. Yeah. We either go straight into the calm fight in spring summer, mm -hmm. or we have a defence in February, March, and then hopefully get Khan in the summer. I guess a lot depends on the Mayweather situation for him, yeah. if he gets it. But um, it's the fight we want. It's the fight that makes sense. And therefore, cleverly bell you. How's that impacted that? Because that was well. Now we're back potentially in Liverpool on November right. 29th. But right. you know, to give you an insight, obviously the deal that was done for Sheffield on yeah. a neutral venue won't be the deal that's done in Liverpool. Yeah. For Nathan to go into Tony's backyard, which is quite right. Yeah. So it changes his dynamics, yeah. but we all get on very well. Well, I get on very well with them. I don't get on very well with each other. <laughs> um, and they're they're all bright. They know the business. They know this is the biggest fight out there. Yeah. For both of them. So my gut feeling is November 29th in Liverpool. And and Nathan is he content to go into Tony's backyard again? Yeah. He, you know, at the end of the day, it's um, you know he's done it before. Yeah. I think ideally, and the right thing is a neutral venue. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. with Sheffield not happening, yeah. we need to get the revenue streams right to pay them what they want. Yeah. So we need to sell out 10,000 tickets. I know I can do that in Liverpool, yeah. but Nathan deserves a better end than he would have done at a neutral venue. Yeah. So therefore, Tony will have to get a lesser end. So that's another conversation to be had. But again, they're both bright, and at the end of the day, this is the biggest fight for both of them. Yeah, so yeah. I'm confident that will be the new date and venue. Lovely. And I just wanted to ask a, a quick question about Matchroom Fight Pass. Mm -hmm. How's it going early days, obviously, so far, mm -hmm. but in terms of subscription levels and what have you, um, are you content with the...? Yeah, it's gone really well. Probably a little bit better than I expected. I think when you look at the financial aspect of it, people mm -hmm. sort of think 29.95. The free T-shirt was always a good move because some people pay twenty nine ninety five for a T-shirt. Absolutely, um, yeah. But they're getting ten live shows. I think the ticket thing is important. I think that will really kick in for November the 29th and also when Frotch fights next. Obviously, yeah. that's when really you'll be thinking, I want to be a Fight Pass member because I want to make sure I get a ticket. Yeah, because that's been a, yeah, a recurring exactly. issue for, for and, and actually, to be honest with you, we were thinking about putting a scheme together with just that priority booking. Yeah. We only yeah. then added 10 live shows and T-shirts yeah. and all this. So I think from a value perspective, I think it's great. Yeah. Um, first live show on Friday with, with Dave Colbell showing the line of fire, which is a really good show. Yeah. Uh, Gainer against Patterson, Maxi Hughes, and you know, the fight of the year rematch with Jerome Wilson. I think it's a great, great start for us. So yeah. um, early days, but really pleased. Yeah, and, and obviously, we, as we know, um, James and, and Coogan with, with uh, IFL TV, they're doing really well, getting some big shows on Fight Pass and Box Nation, mm -hmm. and, and obviously Matchroom Fight Pass online mm -hmm. streaming. Um, do you think you know th this is really showing that the, the evolution of, of media platforms generally and how they're they're filtered into boxing? Well, well, fighters are so accessible now, and yeah. you know, you, you only got to look at the views numbers, particularly of, of an IFL, to, yeah. to see that they're very successful. And you know, if I'm going to do an interview with IFL or or Matchroom Boxing YouTube channel, I'm going to go with IFL because they're going to get 10, 20,000 more views than, yeah. than my, my channel. They've built a good platform there, and um, you know, it's, it's uh, they're doing very well. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thanks a lot for your time today, Eddie. Really appreciate it. Look forward to the show on thanks, Saturday. Jonathan. Cheers, Cheers Eddie.